scientists rewind the clock of human skin cells to make them act 30 years younger. Science Alert reports us it's not quite the mythical fountain of youth, but it is perhaps a start. Scientists have managed to engineer human skin cells to reverse 30 years of aging, resetting them to a much more youthful state in terms of certain molecular measurements. While it's very early days for the research, so we should not get carried away too quickly, the technique could play a major part in efforts to produce rejuvenation medicine that's able to undo some of the damaging consequences of our bodies getting older. What makes the research particularly notable is that the skin cells were reprogrammed to be biologically younger while still keeping some of the functionality that made the skin uh, made them skin cells in the first place. The process used here builds on the Nobel Prize winning work of Shinya Yamanaka in 2007, where Yamanaka was able to turn normal cells with a specific function into stem cells that can develop into any type. This meant, however, that the cell could lose its specific identity. Our understanding of aging on molecular level has progressed over the last decade, giving rise to techniques that show research allow researchers to measure age-related biological changes in human cells, says biologist Diljeet Gill from the Brahman Institute in the UK and the study's lead author. We were able, he says, to apply this to our experiment to determine the extent of reprogramming our new method achieved. The new method, dubbed maturation phase transient reprogramming, works more quickly, 13 days compared to 50 in the Yamanaka team's experiments, and stops before the stem cell state is reached, allowing the cell to retain its original identity and function. A variety of measurements include the epigenetic clock, chemical tags that indicate age, and the transcriptome gene reading produced by cells uh, were used to confirm that the skin cells had indeed been rolled back in biological age by three decades, 30 years. Collagen production is a key function of skin cells, useful for structuring tissue and healing wounds, and the youthful cells were observed to be still pumping the stuff out. In fact, they were producing more collagen than control skin cells that had not undergone the reprogramming process and showed signs of being able to heal wounds more quickly. Gill says, they, we have proved that cells can be rejuvenated without losing their function and that rejuvenation looks to restore some function to old cells. The fact that we also saw a reverse of aging indicators in genes associated with diseases is particularly promising for the future of, his work, of this work. As of yet, the scientists don't fully understand how the mechanism behind maturation phase transient reprogramming works, but they think that certain key parts of the genome, which could help control cells' identity, might be able to escape the reprogramming. There are a huge number of age-related health issues to tackle as we get older from heart disease to Alzheimer's, and further in the future, the research has been, that's been outlined here could be useful in finding ways to tackle the progression of these issues. One of the next steps will be to try to apply techniques used here to other types of cells in the body and to make sure the processes are completely safe before moving them out of the lab into the clinical trials. Eventually, we may be able to identify genes that rejuvenate without reprogramming and specifically target those to reduce the effects of aging, says molecular biologist Wolf Rake from the Brahman Institute. This approach holds promise for valuable discoveries that could open up an amazing therapeutic horizon. The research was published in eLife, and this is on Science Alert by David Neal. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. I kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.